All right, this is the second video uh, for, and it's Germany's turn. We did the rolls from the last uh, attack, and <laughs> I didn't get one hit on Norway. So anyway, um, that backfired, but I got West Russia pretty easy. So anyway, with Germany, your first moves, what you could do, first you got to buy, um, you got 40 bucks. A lot of people online, they'll buy... Um, like three tanks, five infantry, and one fighter, which is pretty good. Some people get eight tanks. Some people buy an aircraft carrier and put it in the Mediterranean or in the Baltic Sea. It just depends on what you want to do and, you know, do you really want to do all you can to get Africa or do you want to go totally at Russia or do you want to try to take over the Atlantic? Um... Basically, you know, Germany's the hardest army to play with because you really got to decide what you're going to do. You really can't go off what Russia did on the first turn to decide what you're going to do. Um, whereas, like, with America, it totally depends on what everybody else did, you know. You just play off what everybody else did. Anyway, with, uh, with this setup with Germany, since they still own Norway, what I would do is I would do that attack I was talking about. I would fly this fighter in the bomber from Germany, and this sub to try to take out this battleship and transport up here in C-Zone 2. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to. You could move this uh, sub right here to C-Zone 1 and take out the lone transport if you wanted to. Or, some people like gambling. I've got a wrong piece over here. Step sun side up the board. Alright, so that's supposed to be a cruiser here. Some people get crazy and uh, go for it all. They take this sub and they'll come right over here and try to kill that um, cruiser. Isn't there supposed to be two transports right there? True, you're killing me, you're killing me. Yes. All right, sorry guys on this video. Let's see here. Okay, so some people would go for that with the sub and try to kill that cruiser because you could kill the cruiser and the two transports and you cripple America in the Atlantic. And it would really set them back at least two turns before they get troops to Africa or either Europe. <clears throat> so you could go for that. Other people with this sub, they'll pull it down here to C-Zone 13. Oh my god, man. That's supposed to be a cruiser too. Okay, and they'll, they'll take this sub down and uh, try to take out this cruiser with one of their fighters. So you could do that. You know, that way if it hits you back, you just kill the sub. Um, but, like I said, some people pull it up here, which is what I do. And if, when the battleship does hit you back, because he will, you kill the sub. And not one of your fighters or your bombers. And um, as far as all these other moves, you could move. You're definitely going after Russia. Just push as fast as you can. You want to be aggressive. You can't sit back and wait. You got to be aggressive. And um, down here, you want to pull this battleship into this C zone, take out this destroyer in uh, C zone 15, and uh, load up your transport and go ahead and unload in Egypt, and then use these troops from Libya. And that way, you knock out the British presence here in Africa. And just get the rest of your troops up. And then what I do, I spread out these subs over here in the Atlantic. That way when the UK rebuilds its fleet, you can take it out immediately. And then also with this transport, since it touches West Russia, I'll load up one of these tanks and then one infantry from uh, Germany. And I'll unload it here. And just let it sit there because more than likely the British are going to kill it anyway. So I might as well get something out of it one turn. All right.